Facebook. How's everybody doing? Just a lowly, yeah. tough winner. I don't want yeah, right? to talk to me. Wait, wait, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, how's the knee coming along, the, the injury my, and the healing, the PCL, right? The PCL, yeah, mm -hmm. it's going great, you know, I mean, I'm already starting to train and uh, the doctor cleared me to start training, so I'm already back in the gym and uh, I'm hungry, I'm ready, and uh, waiting for uh, waiting for Joe to give me a, a call back uh, and see what uh, matchup he's got for me. Speaking we know. of how hungry you were, I heard that you were going after the Carlos Condit fight, but that went to Woodley. How much did you actually gun for that fight? <laughs> Right, well, I, I didn't uh, really call him. I just kind of offered myself uh, as a replacement, just throwing my name out, you know? I didn't uh, just, just throw my name out and see, see what happened. Well, we know you want Rick's story. Why do you want Rick, and how close do you think you are to getting that fight? Yeah, um, the Rick story fight is an interesting fight. I, uh, I trained with him in Montreal. Um, he's a good guy. I have nothing against him, obviously. But uh, I think that fight uh, is probably the fight that makes sense for, uh, for me right now. Um, everybody else that's close to me in the rankings is, is either booked or, or coming off a loss. So uh, I think this fight is probably the best one for me. And uh, it could catapult me up, uh, up into the upper echelon of the welterweight ranks, right? Is there something you saw in his last fight that made you think specifically you'd be a good matchup and specifically that you could take him out? Um, you know, I saw a lot of things on a lot of different people, and uh, uh, even in, in Johnny Hendricks, even in Robbie Lawler and Brian McDonald, I saw a lot of holes in you know a lot of other of the other top guys as well. So it's not just uh, Rick's story. Well, it's pretty bold, though. A lot of people, when you talked about jumping in in the Condit fight, some people said, "I don't know if Kelvin's ready for that," but you seem to be pretty composed about where you want to go in the division already. Right. Well, I mean, I know what I can do, and, um, you know, I don't think you guys have even seen half of what I can do, uh, to be honest. Uh, so I'm pretty confident coming into any fight against anybody. Training these days, are you still splitting time between Yuma and also going to rain? Yeah, well, right now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm back home in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'm going to be moving back home uh, full time. For now, I've got uh, some plans, some goals that I want to set and uh, and meet for this next year, um, and that's uh, coinciding with uh, you know that comes along together with my with going back home and, and doing things that I want to do. I have different goals, different uh, things that I want to do at home. I thought that you and Uriah had worked together a lot in the past, so I was curious if you had uh, trained with him at all ahead of his fight tonight. With Rick. With Uriah Hall. Uriah, I haven't trained with him in. The, uh, this fight camp? No, I haven't. Um, I know I helped him train for his last fight, but not for this one. No. You're coming off an injury now, but you were preparing for a fight in court. Is there anything particular that you've been working on in your fight camp up until that fight? Well, you know, since uh, since I haven't been able to, you know, get in the gym and, and training, I've been uh, uh, going to a sports psychologist. You know, and the idea behind that was, you know, since I can't work on my physical muscles I've got to work on 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 what's you know the mental muscles and uh, that's what I've been doing how's it going it's going great yeah. it's going great <laughs> it's helped a lot and yeah. uh, I'm enjoying it did you find it, through that process that there were things that you were doing to uh, hurt yourself before a fight mentally or did you find that you had some bad habits that were not helping you compete to your best abilities um, no I, I found out a lot of good things that I was already doing without even knowing right and um, and just getting to that next level mentally is, is really going to help me in training and, and in fights. I know uh, you're a big fan of Ronda. I remember from the season of the Ultimate yeah. Fighter where they brought her down for you. <laughs> Who do you have tonight in that fight? I think Ronda is going to beat her uh, just like last time. Um, pretty easily, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what about the main event? Who are you taking? The main from? event, I'm, I'm going uh, Weidman. I think if he, ta he has the advantage on the ground, I think he's got better wrestling and uh, maybe even better jiu-jitsu, so we'll, have, we'll, we'll see. I think that's where he has the advantage. Thank you. You've managed to avoid any losses so far. Uh, that can People sometimes say that's both a blessing and a curse, but sometimes you think about that, that first loss for a while. Is that something that you think about at all? Uh, shoot, not really, no. I just go into every fight um, very confident, um, extremely confident, uh, just just knowing whoever whoever's in that ring with me is, is it's not going. Uh, it's not going to be an easy fight, you know. So I'm not, I don't think about losing. I think about uh, you know performing and, and 
doing what I can uh, to get the win. We saw you uh, train down at Rain Training Center with Uriah Hall. Uh, do you think he's going to bring in some of that mental toughness to the fight tonight? You know, um, the preparation that you've gained? Right. Well, I've talked to him uh, a couple times, and I know he's ready uh, mentally and physically. He says he's in, in the best shape of his life. And uh, I know he's coming in real confident and, and has a different, uh, he's coming in with a different approach into the fight. So I know he's, he's ready. We see that there's a lot of talk about a fight in Mexico. Is that something that in your career you would love to do? I would love to. I would love to. I mean, I know Kane's uh, injured uh, right now, and I don't think they'd go to, to Mexico without him. Yeah. But uh, if, it, if it comes, I, I have no doubt that, that I'll be getting the call to be in that card. Yeah, how much of a celebrity are you becoming? I know you just did a one-on-one -on -one interview with a Latin market here. So is that something that uh, that you feel good about and that you're turning into a little bit of a poster boy for the UFC? Yeah, I mean, I, I love it. You know what I mean? Um, uh, you know, to be representing and, uh, you know, really repping my Latino heritage and my Mexican heritage is, is something that I'm proud of. Do you have anything you'd like to tell them in, in Spanish? You know? In Spanish, well, I just did earlier. Yeah. All right, I'm just saying, but we did it already. Ahorita. Ahorita. Sí, sí, sí. No, sí, que, que sigan soportando sí. a, a todos los latinos y a todos los mexicanos. Yeah. Y otro Para, campeón en la división Welter. Otro campeón en la división Welter, sí. Para la raza. Para la raza, sí. Awesome. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Good to see you again. Thank you, Karen.